he got thrown out of the game. He waved at all the fans. He hugged all his teammates. He didn't talk to the media. He went back to the hotel and he recorded a podcast. That, that was the day that Draymond Green had. So again, Wendy, and, and we welcome Big Perk for the first time this morning and the first time in far too long. Perk, just a direct question. Did Draymond deserve to be thrown out for that play? Greeny, you know what? As an enforcer in the league, a role that I play, absolutely he deserved to get thrown out. Look, we you have to set the law as some some type of standard and lay down some type of rules. Listen, the man once slapped him across his face, okay, and then pulled his jersey down, which Brandon Clark was really kind of helpless at that point. And look, the 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 league got to protect all players because we know if this was the other way around and say Brandon Clark would have did a, a play like this on Steph Curry. You know, nobody would have been complaining or if he would have did it on Klay Thompson. Look, we can't look at the name on the back of the jersey. All players have to be protected. And I thought at that moment that was the appropriate call that the referees made last night. Legs? Time. Listen, I was a big fan when I was younger of a horror movie called Invasion of the Body Snatchers. What happened to Kendrick Perkins? <laughs> <laughs> this is not Kendrick Perkins. <laughs> this is not Kendrick Perkins. Listen, the smell test, Perk, I know how you would have reacted if you got tossed for that. I hear you. Now, listen, you got a different role, I understand, but listen, here's what I'm saying. Watching it live, and this is where I, where I come down with the part of the officials. Watching it live, I thought to myself, yeah, the jersey grab clearly, man. Oh, they're going to look at the jersey grab. The referees on the court didn't even know he made contact with his face. My point being, it wasn't egregious enough that everybody understood he hit him in the head when he would try to swipe down and grab his arm. That's first. Secondly, define wind up. He slides over, his arm is already in the air, and he just rakes down toward the ball and really was trying to hit him on the arm to prevent him from getting his hands above his head. I just don't get where you get a wind up from that play. That's just a swipe down that happens every time a guy goes to the rim. The well, jersey grab to me yeah. is absolutely the worst of the two. And I think ultimately that's what cost him. But even on that, he did try to catch him yeah. before he hit the ground. I just, I just don't think in a playoff ahead, game Perk. it warrants it. Perk, one more comment. Go. Yeah, well, well, Legs, listen, I got thrown out of the game before for actually bumping heads with Tyreek uh, Evans, okay? It wasn't even a headbutt, head but they said just because we tapped heads and I came and made contact, I was suspended for the next game. This is before the instant replay. Anytime you get hit in the face, we all know they're going to the uh, review board and there's a possibility you're going to get a flagrant one. Now all of a sudden with the jersey pull, it didn't have to be a wind-up in this play. It's just that this guy, Brandon Clark, was he was defenseless. You got to protect all players. It don't matter what the name of the back of the jersey or how physical we want the game to be. This is not wrestling. This is not football. We're talking about the game of basketball. Yes, you want it to be a little physical, but at the end of the day, you still wanted to protect the players. Let me get Wendy in here. Wendy, what did you think? And also, for the audience just joining us, explain the significance of a decision that has not yet been made. Yeah, so why would Draymond do this podcast after the game? Well, great content for a podcast, of course, but he was making an appeal. He was making an appeal to the league office. He wants this downgraded today from a flagrant two to a flagrant one, not just to save money, but also because he's aware the Warriors are in for a long playoff run. He now has two flagrant two points. You get four, you get suspended. That is what happened to him in the 2016 finals. He did not get suspended for game five back then because he hit LeBron in the groin, he got suspended for accumulation of flagrant foul points. So it'll be fascinating to see with people in both ears of the league office today, what Perk and Legs are just saying, people on both sides making this case to the league office, whether they let the call stand or they peel it back to a flagrant one, and I absolutely think they could go either way. It's going to be fascinating.